Hey y'all, my name is Ashley and today I am trying a bunch of Halloween makeup from the drugstore. So if you wanna see how I got this, if you wanna see the process and the frustration of putting all of this on today, then keep on watching. Okay, so I mentioned in my Halloween makeup reset that I had a bunch of drugstore Halloween themed makeup to try out, which is what I'm going to be doing today. So as I was going through my little container of all this Halloween makeup that I picked out through the month of October, I realized they all have one thing in common and it's not because they're from the drugstore. It's because they're all Tim Burton themed. So somehow I picked out all of this makeup and it's rather a collaboration with Beetlejuice, Nightmare Before Christmas, Corpse Bride, like it's all Tim Burton. <laughs> Tim Burton drugstore makeup. So that's basically what I'm trying today. Some of these products I have tried and some of these I have not. And I wanna start off by putting on a lip oil. I just traveled from San Antonio and traveling to San Antonio dries my skin out every damn time. And I come back and then I break out because now I'm adjusting to the humidity of Houston. But I do have two lip oils right here. These are from the Wet n Wild and Nightmare Before Christmas collaboration. And I was really lucky that I was actually eventually able to find this one because this is the one I really, really wanted. I went to several different Ulta stores. I went to my HEB, I went to Walmart, could not find it. I ended up ordering on Amazon and it took like three weeks to get here, but I have it. And that is the one with Oogie Boogie on it. And then the one I actually was able to find in the store right away is the one with the mayor on it. So we have the purple one, but I wanna use the Oogie Boogie one because it's Oogie Boogie and it's green. So these are pH adjusting lip oils. I think on Amazon, this is only six bucks, somewhere in that price range, but it's wet and wild. So it is affordable. It is so cute. I, 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 I only really wanted it because it's Oogie Boogie and because it's Nightmare Before Christmas. Because not only do I love Nightmare Before Christmas, so does my youngest. Like, it is his favorite movie for Halloween and Christmas. In fact, he watched it today. And honestly, this wasn't pH adjusting. It was just a green lip gloss. I'd have been happy with that as well. And it doesn't really have a scent. And it does make my lips appear pinker. So it's pH, pH adjusting. It's a lip oil. It's nice and hydrating on my lips. It's not sticky. Like... I think it's kind of hard to fuck up lip oil, so I can't really complain. And so the other thing I have that I'm going to use before I start my makeup is these NYX and Beetlejuice reusable eye patches. I just pulled these out of the fridge and not that I need another set of reusable eye patches, but the idea of them being Beetlejuice and I really enjoy all things Beetlejuice, I had to get this. Now, honestly, these are pricey for what they were. I picked these up at Target they were like 12 bucks. And honestly, like for $12, this is actually kind of a lot of money. I probably should put a serum on first. My skin is super dry, so I might as well just put something hydrating on my face. It's like a hydrating serum. And I'll see if these patches stay on my skin while I do my makeup. I doubt it. Maybe? I don't know, these are like overfilled. Like I'm used to having ones that are a little bit flatter. These are the kind that you can't use while you're prepping your makeup because these are the kind that you kind of use at night and you're relaxing or in the morning when you first get up to kind of help awaken yourself because I'm going to remove my hands from these and these are going to fall off my face. I can feel it. Maybe. Yeah. These are not the kind I can use to prep for my makeup. Well, that's a bummer. I'll still use these. They're nice and cooling, but they were in their fridge. So, I mean, they do what they're supposed to do. Were they a little overpriced for 12 bucks? Yes, but they had Beetles on it and it's from Beetlejuice, so I needed it. Now I'm gonna get into the makeup. So the eyeshadow palette that I picked up from the drugstore, and actually I got this from HEB, is the Corpse Bride Why So Blue Multi-Use Palette. So in here is actually nine eyeshadows. I think there's pressed pigments in here. I don't know. It's a multi-use palette. So you've got nine small pan shades over here and then you've got three highlighters. That's the way I see it. I'm sure I can use those on the eyes and I'm sure I will. But what I'm gonna go ahead and do is actually prep my eyes and I'm actually using a Beauty Creations eye base. And that's not just because of this video. That is because that is the eye base I use anyway. So I don't know for other people if Beauty Creations are in their local grocery store. They are for me. So I can go to HEB and they usually have a pretty decent selection of Beauty Creations makeup. When I bought this for myself, I actually got my daughter 
a bunch of the My Little Pony makeup for her birthday because she does love her makeup. And I don't, she hasn't learned that, you know, be gentle in the pan. So I like to get her things that are from Beauty Creations, ColourPop, Elf, NYX. Like, those are the kind of brands I buy my daughter. And while I was there, I saw this and I just had to have it. So my daughter went home, well, she didn't know at the time. She's getting a bunch of My Little Pony makeup while I was buying a bunch of Corpse Bride makeup for myself. Now, honestly, I don't know how much the Corpse Bride palette was, but Beauty Creations isn't super overpriced. Um, I mean, we're talking, I buy the eye primer from them and it's like three bucks. It's, it's super affordable. And I honestly think the quality is good when it comes to the eye primer, but I've never tried an eyeshadow palette for them. So this is like a first for me. I'm going to start off with this pinky shade. Oh, don't want the purple. I kind of like the purple too. I'm going to start off with the shade Sweet Lily. So it's a really pretty light lavender shade. And I'm going to go ahead and put this shade all up in my crease because I do want, even though this palette is why so, why so blue, there's only one blue shade in here. And I feel like there should have been more because it's, it's corpse bread. But I'm going to start off with that purple shade and I'm going to go ahead and apply it in my crease kind of all over actually. Okay, that is really nice. Like it's showing up really nicely and it's not patchy. So I'm impressed so far. But I'm gonna go ahead and just apply this all over my crease in my inner corner because I think I'm gonna do something kind of like a halo eye with this palette. There isn't much to choose from when it comes to the colors in this palette. And when I'm doing eyeshadow looks, I am the kind of person that kind of doesn't play with browns very often. Like I prefer to play with the colors in the palette over a bunch of browns. So uh, I probably won't be playing with those shades. Man, I was thinking to myself, if this palette was a load of shit, I'll just give it to my daughter. But I'm actually really impressed with this really pretty purple. There is a little bit of shimmer in it, but it's like one of those mattes with like tiny specks of glitter, not, not a lot. Now I'm sure you can tell by the color sort of this palette, I want to focus on using the shade Butterfly. It is a metallic blue. And that is most likely what I'm going to be laying down the center of my eye. So what I'm going to do is take the shade Cold Feet, which is a matte black with lots of sparkle in it. And all the sparkle in it is like, I see purple, I see blue, I see green, just all types of colors. And I'm going to be putting this in my inner and my outer corner. And I know with like these glittery ones, you can't blend too much or you lose that glitter effect. But I think I'll blend and then I'll probably pat it in. So I get that glitter and not lose it all. And it's a really nice black. I'm actually really impressed on how nicely these all blend together. Like, and how it's not patchy. And like, this is a beautiful black and it's easy to work with. Like it's buffing really nicely. It's not becoming muddy between the purple I've already laid down. Like, I think I might've been sleeping on buying palettes from this brand. I know when I got my daughter the My Little Pony stuff, they had a highlighter stick in there and I swatched it and it was really, really nice. Like I was impressed. Of course I let her keep it, but when I went to go buy myself a highlighter stick from the My Little Pony collection, they were gone. Okay, I'm kind of happy with this. I was not, I did not have high hopes for some of this makeup. I'm not going to lie. I thought it was cute and I thought it'd be fun to play with it, but I really didn't expect to actually like what I'm coming up with. So now I'm going to use the shade Butterfly and I'm going to use my, it feels really dry. I was not expecting that. I thought it was going to be nice and kind of silky feeling, but it's kind of rough feeling. I'm still going to try my finger and lay it down the center of my lid, but it looks like I kind of need to use a brush. So let's use a brush. It's because I was talking so good about that black and purple, this blue, which I think is like the main point of this palette is it's really pretty once you get it on the eyes, but it's taking work to get it to lay down. I'm really having to like press it onto my eyelids. Oh, I spoke too soon. I was giving it compliments earlier and now it's just turning into a muddy mess. I'm going to try to salvage it, but I'm starting to think that this palette was not it. Man, if that blue is gorgeous, but it is not gorgeous on the eyes. And this is why I'm filming this at night because I don't have to go anywhere. Because I would not, if I was going somewhere right now, I'd wipe this off my eyes and call it a day because I do not like this. But I'm going to keep trying to work with it. But this is like kind of disappointing because I felt like the blue was going to be like the high point of this palette. And it is not. 
So I'm going to take a purple setting slash brightening powder and I'm going to try to buff things out with this and see if this kind of saves the day. I didn't buy a loose setting powder. I do have a pressed setting powder, but not like a colored one that I would prefer to use in this situation. So I'm going to use the purple because this is a cool toned look and see if I can get this to buff out nicely. I don't like the way that looks, but it is what it is. There's nothing I can do. So I think for my inner corner, I'm going to use the shade Baby's Breath. It's like a white shimmer with some iridescent blue bits in it. And I'm going to use that to kind of highlight my inner corner. I mean, I think I'm going to have to have some lashes and some bold liner to help salvage the way that this looks. I guess I'll do the other eye and put some eyeliner on my face and I'll be right back. So I have done what I can do for my eyes. I'm very like not happy with it. It's like not blending the black. I've tried to use the black to kind of smudge it out a bit. And now I just look dirty. I don't know how to explain it. But I really kind of, well it's not like I really liked it. But I was really impressed with the black and the purple in here. And I like these, these shimmers here. But that blue is just like completely turned me off. And I feel like the blue was like the point of the palette. So... Not a fan of that, but let's go ahead and do the rest of the face before I venture into my under eyes. I did pick up a primer, and this is Wet n Wild's version of Milk Hydro Grips. At least that's what I'm getting from it. But it's the Sticky Serum Primer, and it has niacinamide in it. Oh! Well, that's exciting because I really, really, like, I'll show you. When I bought this, I missed the niacinamide. This is my niacinamide primer from e.l.f. Cosmetics. It, she is, she's running out, okay? I really enjoy this one. As someone with acne, the niacinamide helps. This has 5% niacinamide, while the e.l.f. one has 4. So, I feel like this, if it's similar, I'm going to like it. Hopefully, it's like a permanent product. They just like change, they'll, they'll change the labeling. Oh, this is thicker. This is thicker than both the e.l.f. one and the milk one, but that's fine. Like, it doesn't mean it's going to be any, like, it's not going to be any good. I don't like the smell of it. It kind of smells like play makeup from the early 2000s and late 90s, but it's sticky. It is very sticky. I would say it's just as sticky as the e.l.f. one. And if you've tried the e.l.f. one and you've tried the milk one, you know the e.l.f. one is a little bit tackier than the one from Milk Makeup. Yeah, it reminds me of little kid makeup, like the smell of it. But I can get over the smell of it. It is not as bad as the smell as the Glow Recipe, like the strawberry one. I had high hopes for that product a couple years ago or a year ago, whenever it came out. And the smell was so bad, I couldn't wear it. I had to wipe it off my face. That is not the case with this one. I just don't like the smell. Okay, so honestly, that primer, it lays down, like my foundation lays down the same way it does with the e.l.f. one. So I, I like it. I wouldn't really know if I would continue using it until I take up take off my makeup and see what my face looks like tomorrow with no makeup and see if I have like more breakouts or if it's kind of like the way the e.l.f. one is where my skin doesn't break out from it. I find that the e.l.f. one is a great barrier for me to not as have to not have as many breakouts and with this having 5% over 4%, I'm really excited about this minus the smell. The, the smell is very circa 1999 play makeup. Okay, so now I have some blush options. I haven't set my face yet, so I really wanna try this liquid one. And if this doesn't go the way I want it to go after I powder my face, I will dip into this one from NYX. This one is from Wet n Wild and it is from the Nightmare Before Christmas collaboration. And this is in the shade Barrel of Scares. So Barrel is on here. These are actually, I believe, lippies and liquid blushes. I believe that's how they were marketed as. I've already opened this, so I can't remember if it's both. But if it's both, this is probably going to be the lipstick today as well. So I'm going to go ahead and just put a little on my cheeks right here. And hopefully this buffs out real nicely. My current go-to liquid blush serum is from Give by Gwen Stefani, which... I'm panicking a little bit because I noticed a lot of their stuff is on sale at Sephora's website. And I'm like, are you guys like not going to carry it anymore? Because you can't buy Give from Give's website. You have to buy it at Sephora. And I really like the Gwen Stefani makeup line. Like I, I really do enjoy it. I think a lot of people didn't try it because it's a celebrity makeup brand. But I, I love the mascara. I love the liquid lippies. I like my blush serum. 
Uh, what else do I use from Give? I use quite a few products from them. Okay, this is not going. I am working as fast as I can and it's drying very quickly. I know this was labeled as a blush. It's also really thick. Like the container is quite massive to just be a lippy. But this is drying down quick. Like I am working as fast as I can. And it's it's kind of like done. I need a sponge. So I'll keep my sponge on theme. And even though this is from last year's Halloween, you can actually still buy this from Perfusion. It's a little ghosty from Casper the Ghost. Well, I guess that makes it Casper himself. But I do like the sponge. And that seems to help a little bit. But it looks like if you're going to use this as a blush, you need to move as quickly as fucking possible. And like they had three different shades of this. This is the one that kind of called my name out. And that's because I do like the darker blushes, like the plummy, vampy looking blushes for fall. Um, and the other ones were just like too bright. And then, well, one was like a brighter pink and then one was like an orange. And sometimes orange blush looks good on me, but usually in the summer when I'm a little bit tanner. And since I haven't really been out in the sun, I don't have much of a tan. And since I have yellow undertones, it don't look right. It's not my favorite. And it's not my favorite because like you have to move so quickly. If I have to move really quickly to blend in a product, it gives me like panic mode and anxiety. So we'll try that as a lip in a little bit, but I'm not impressed with it as a blush, but I'll set my face anyway. So I went ahead and got a, I haven't used a setting powder that's not loose in ages, but this one I had to get because it is Jack Skellington. And this is from Wet n Wild. And like, I don't have a problem with products from Wet n Wild. I hear a lot of people talk a lot of smack about them. I've got lots of like lippies that I enjoy using. Um, there's like this red lipstick that is from a Snoopy collection that I absolutely love. So, I mean, it's a hit and miss brand, but I'm down to like continue trying their products because I like how cute their stuff is. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a powder poof to set my face this way instead of like a fluffy brush. And let's see, and this is supposed to be translucent. I am not happy with how, like the more I look at it, I think I can fix the blush with that powder. I won't use that liquid blush as a blush again. I'm gonna try it as a lippy because I might like it that way and I'll get use out, use out of it that way. But I'm really, I mean, it's my eyes. I'm so not happy with it. And it's not, it's not the standard of how I like my makeup to look. So it's just disappointing. And like usually if I do a video like this and I don't like the way the make, my makeup looks, I toss it because it just gives me too much anxiety to share it with the internet how crappy my makeup looks. But I don't think this is user error. I think this is just like, that eyeshadow palette is just not it. I am going to also set my under eyes. Now I don't have a powder for my under eyes so I'm just gonna use one of my brightening powders. And since it's a cool toned look, I'm gonna use a, a purple powder for under my eyes kind of go on theme. I'll let that sit for a second and I'm gonna go ahead and add some bronzer. Not a product that I was able to pick up. I feel like my whole face is starting to look a little muddy. And like I obviously have a mixture of products that I use all the time because I didn't get a foundation. I didn't get my contour. I didn't get my bronzer. But like that blush is like ruined my entire face along with my eyeshadow. So I'm gonna fix this blush, and I'm going to fix it by using the other blush product that I got, and this is from NYX. I've already been using this. I like this. This is the Passport Afterlife Republic of All Souls Cheek Palette. And it's got three different blushes in here. I really like this one, obviously. But what I also like about this is how slim this is and how easy it is to like put in your purse or travel with. Like. I just think it's super cute and you get more than enough product in here. I believe this only cost me about $10, but I'm going to use the deeper shade, which I don't think has a name. It just says three. So I'm going to use this deeper shade here and kind of use it to blend out what I already have on my face and kind of make it look better if I can. And maybe some of this isn't applying the way I want to because my skin is super dry from traveling and like, I'm not used to being a dry bitch, so when it happens, I'm like, god damn, like, I can't get things to, like, show up properly. Or, like, sometimes, like, my pores look extremely 
larger, like they look larger than they usually do because my skin's so dry, but like I feel like I've moisturized enough that things should be laying down properly. I'm, I'm trying to come up with excuses for the makeup being shitty. All right, I like this product. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a highlighter. And so I didn't get a highlighter, but there is highlighters within this Corpse Bride palette. I'm a little on the fence of using this, but I'm going to do it anyway. So I think I'm going to use the shade Wedding Cake. So it's this middle shade here. It's kind of like a champagne gold. It doesn't have like the large glitter flakes like the other two shades, which is why I'm gonna use this one. So I oh don't know, it's kind of glittery too, but I'm going to use that as my highlight. I don't like that. Whew, it is what it is. Oh. Well, I've now highlighted my acne. It gets a nice highlighter. I just don't like where I put it. <laughs> Cause I didn't realize like how big that pimple was. And now I've just like accentuated the acne on my face with my highlighter. So the under eyes. So I think what I'm going to do is stay very, very far away from that blue, but I am going to use this black and the lavender to do my under eyes because I don't really want to use the browns. So maybe I'll use eternal love. I'll use eternal love. So it's like this rosy shade here. It's kind of like a, a cool toned, pink and I'm going to kind of use that in my inner corner and then I'll use the black for the rest of my under eyes. Yeah, we're going to keep it all black. It's a nice color. It didn't like it was it was blending the same way that purple did, so I can see that there would probably be no issues with that shade. But I feel like the black is what this look needs to try to salvage what's on my face. There's also fallout with this palette cuz that's just what happened to my nose. I'm, like trying to repair it as best as I can. It's just not a good day, y'all. Oh my God, okay. I am probably gonna add lashes to salvage what's on my face, but I don't have any lashes from the drugstore. Well, I do have lashes from the drugstore. They're just not Halloween themed. I usually use Ardell Nakeds, but like they didn't come out with like a Halloween edition, you know? But what I am going to do is go ahead and try that blush from earlier as a lipstick. Let me wipe off this. Oh, this lip oil, by the way, super moisturizing. I fucking love it. But actually, before I put my lips on, I do have a setting spray. So this, I can't, look, I bought it because it's also in a coffin. But this is from Beauty Creations, and this is their everlasting setting mist. It's really cute, the fact that it came in a coffin. And I think it's like an aerosol kind, so kind of like the Morphe one. I wasn't really into Morphe, I never really been into Morphe, so I actually have never used that Morphe spray. I'm pretty sure I had one, but it literally just sat and collected dust. Yes, super fine. It's got like a rose smell to it, but I feel like that's on theme for Corpse Bride. But it's like kind of on theme for Corpse Bride, so I'm not mad at it. I set my awful makeup. There's no dots on my face. It felt refreshing on my face. The scent didn't bother me because it's not like the overpowering rose smell kind of like you get from a Louboutin lipstick. That smells awful. I have a Louboutin lipstick. It sits in its box on display because even though it is a beautiful shade of red, it is like the shade of the red bottom. The smell is like really hard to get over and that lipstick cost me a lot of fucking money. So it sits in the box on display because the scent's too much. This, the scent's not too much. It's already gone. Like it's just very light and airy. I love it. So I kind of like the way it feels on my face as well. Like it's nice. So who knows if it makes my makeup last long. Um, I guess the real test would be to give it an hour and see if it starts to kind of see if the humidity starts to eat it away or I get oily. So for the lips, I don't have a lip liner. So I'm going to go ahead and just pick one I think would go with that shade. All right, I'll stick in the affordable realm. So this one's from ColourPop. This is from the Snow Weight. Snow Weight. The Snow White collaboration in the shade Jealous Much. I feel like this is gonna actually be a perfect shade match for this barrel of scares. So let's see how this looks as a lippy. Oh, she is sheer, but I feel like I could probably build it up. So I like the color of this, but you do have to like add a second layer, which I don't know how that's going to wear, because if it's peely because it's too heavy, because I had to have a second layer, it's then it's just a complete waste of a product because it didn't work as a blush for me. Like I could not work quick enough to blend it out. But this is like a lip color that I would wear 
uh, it reminds me of an Ariana Grande MAC lipstick that I had. It's like the same shade. I fucking love that color. I have it somewhere still in my collection. So I wiped off the lippy. What I find really strange about this product is that it dried so fast on my cheeks, right? I couldn't get it to buff, I couldn't get it to blend, and it was kind of just like a streak. I could not get it to just blend in with the rest of my foundation. I put it on my lips and it stayed like serum-y. So I took it off because that doesn't work for me. Because if I'm gonna wear like, I'd use this as a gloss on top of like a matte liquid lipstick. So I took this off, but I do have a different lip product. And that is going to be a lip stain from CoverGirl. They came out with a black one. They came out with a bunch of funky colors for Halloween. And the idea of having a black lip stain just made me really excited. So I'm going to use this and then I'm gonna to try to figure out a lip from there. So I also went ahead and put some lashes on and I feel like my look looks a lot better with a bit of a lash. Probably just to hide how crappy the blue is, honestly. But I'm gonna take this lip, lip stain and I'm going to outline the outer corners of my lips. So I was trying to find a drugstore matte liquid lip and of course I don't have one. So I'm gonna just take a vampy lip that I own and I'm gonna blend it in with this black. But I have used this black liquid liner, or liquid liner, black lip stain quite a bit this month and I've been mixing it with reds. Kind of doing like the outer corner. And it's, it's nice to line your lips with, okay? I really enjoy it. I kind of want more of them. Like a red one would be really nice. I know they have like orange, purple, and green. Should have gotten the green one. But this is from Fenty. This is my favorite fall liquid lip. This is the Sunna Lip Paint in Underdog. But see how nicely it blends in with the black? I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it's darker in my outer corners. So now I want to add a gloss. So I do have this gloss right here from Wet n Wild. And this is just like, I got this because I have the Vampire Diaries one that I got from, I think, Lottie London last year. And I just love Vampire Diaries, but I really like how this gave you a, like a red tint on your lips. So I got the same thing from Wet n Wild. And then I also have a red gloss from Beetlejuice. I think I'm gonna use this one because I already know how this is gonna look. It's like a little bit of a red lip stain. But this is the, is it just called the Beetlejuice lip gloss? Is that it? Sure is. I also like the fact that it came in a coffin. So it's just a red lip gloss. Is this plumping or anything? Did I just buy a red lip gloss? Oh, it's a pomegranate clout. Oh, it smells like pomegranates. Okay, cool. Yeah, I mean, I don't know why I was like concerned about putting a red lip gloss. It's not gonna show up on the lips I picked, but it's still a nice gloss. This is cute, I like this. I feel like my, my lips look super, super glossy. All right, I think it's time to get into the final thoughts of all of these products I just tried. And I feel like a lot of them I didn't like. So like, I'm super unhappy. <laughs> I'm sure you can tell my mood is like, I was all fine and now I'm not. It, it's, it's just how I am. But I'm gonna go ahead and start off I guess I'll just go in order of the way I use these products. Where is that awful palette? Okay, so this Corpse Bride Why So Blue palette, I don't like it. I like the little shimmers that are in here. These would be great eye toppers from this shade here. Uh, we got Baby's Breath, Wedding Cake, and Moonlight. I wouldn't use these as highlighters, but these are really pretty eye toppers. I don't like this metallic formula whatsoever. It is awful. It's, it's scratchy, it's dry. It's like Dasani water, okay? You're thirsty and it's not working, okay? That's what this blue is. Like you have high expectations and it's a load of shit. So I I like the, like these creamier formulas, like these shimmers here are really nice, which is the shade Upstairs and Emily, because I end up putting a little bit of Emily in my inner corner off camera. Those are nice, but the metallic in here, that butterfly is absolutely awful. And that's what I wanted to work really well on this palette. So I'm disappointed. I don't like it. Waste of money. All right, let's get into, I think the next thing I used was the primer. So this Wet n Wild Sticky Serum Primer. I think I'm gonna like this. It applied the same way my e.l.f. one did or the same way my Milk Makeup one did. The reason I might like this one more is because that niacinamide is higher in here. And I honestly won't know in the morning, but as of right now, I do like this. All right, this blush or lip 
thing. I don't like this. This barrel of scares, it's not for me. The It took too long to blend out. And then when I use it as a lip, it just never dried down. It's very confusing. Like pick one or the other. Dry down too quick. Dry down or not dry down. Like what's the difference between my lips and my cheeks? I don't know. I don't like it. This translucenting, translucenting, this translucent setting powder. It's a, it's a setting powder. It was okay. Like I don't have a problem with it. It, my skin looks nice and matte, so this is nice. Okay, so this NYX Afterlife Passport Trio Beetlejuice Blush, I like these. So I've been using these since September because that's when I bought this. I've been enjoying this product. I really like, I think this is like their butter blush formula, which is, I guess, really, really good. I've only tried it in this. I've never tried an individual butter blush from NYX, but now I'm interested in trying a butter blush from NYX or their butter bronzer, is it butter bronzer? I have no idea, but it's kind of like wavy in the package. Am I thinking the right brand? I don't know, but this makes me want to try more products from NYX because usually I just go, eh, I'm not interested, but I like this one. I really like these lip oils from Wet n Wild. They were super hydrating and not sticky. So, and I like the little bit of pinkness, it turned my lips. So I think this one will probably do the exact same thing. I don't know why they would be a different formula, but I liked it. I like this lip stain. I think I, th I think I need to go buy more of these because the idea of having a lip stain lately is something that I enjoy. So every time I've used this, I, I wore this to the zoo and like I had lips all day at the zoo. I wore this to Renaissance Festival. I had lips all day at Renaissance Festival. So this is a really nice product if you're trying to get your lips to stay, even if you're using it as a lip liner, which is what I've been doing, I like it. I mean, I don't know if this is going to make my makeup last, but I like it just because it's really nice on the skin. Like the mister is really, really nice. It leaves no residue. I know you see people who try a setting spray for the first time, it leaves white dots. Like that's my biggest fear. This didn't do this. It's got, it, it looks like that Morphe one. It's nice. And the smell of it is is not, doesn't linger. All right, and then, then this was the last product and this was like a total splurge. Like I, I could have gone without these, but I just wanted them to have them. I'm disappointed that they're not the kind that would stay on my face while I was doing my makeup, but I'll probably still use these. I'll just put them back in my skincare fridge and maybe use them in the morning or use them at night when I'm trying to relax. It's a splurge, it's not necessary. I only just wanted them because it's Beetlejuice. All right, I think that is all the products that I have tried. I am so disappointed in the way my face looks. Like, I mean, I could still leave the house like this, but I know, like, it's just, just I could do so much better. <laughs> so, if you like this video, go ahead and like and subscribe. If you tried any of these products, let me know down below. But until next time, bye, y'all.